Today marks two years since a young Nova Scotia man lost his life after overdosing on alcohol and prescription drugs at a party in the Annapolis Valley. 21-year-old Josh Graves died from just 11 milligrams of Dilaudid. His sister Amy became a crusader against prescription drug abuse after his death, holding a number of rallies to draw attention to the issue and the prescribing practices of doctors in the province. Eventually, charges were laid in the death of Josh Graves, although no one was ever found guilty. Amy Graves says two years later, the fight to help end the hold that prescription drugs have on our communities continues. What has gotten better is the awareness of the issue. And um, I find the police have, in the Annapolis Valley at least, I can't speak for the rest of the province, but they have begun investigating overdoses as suspicious deaths, whereas before they were just accidental and there was no investigation. So that's one um, thing, positive thing that has changed since Joshua's death. Graves says although police are now doing more, creating awareness of the problem is still critical. She says better understanding of the issue among doctors as well as the public is essential to eliminating prescription drug abuse.